Okay, for this demo, we're going to take a look at some of the tools to help you improve the performance of your app, uh, especially the CPU usage and the memory usage uh, tools. Okay, one of the useful things to do for using these tools is to set breakpoints over a region of code that you're interested in uh, examining. So we're going to set a couple of breakpoints around this update function for this uh, photo viewer app. And then uh, we'll just start debugging. So we hit the first breakpoint. And first, we're going to take a real quick look uh, at the memory usage tool. At this breakpoint, we'll take a snapshot. And then we'll advance the debugger to the second breakpoint, take a snapshot. And now we see uh, these uh, diff views in the memory usage tool over here. And uh, you can click on these to get uh, a view of um, the difference in your heap size or the difference in the number of objects that, that have been created. So in this case, uh, you see that in the second snapshot, there's 9,548 more objects than there was in the first snapshot. So if you click on that link, you'll get a view here. And you'll see that uh, most of these new objects are this runtime type object. And you see that uh, there's 4,834 of them, uh, more than there were in the first snapshot. And they're using uh, 328,000 more uh, bytes of memory than they were in the first snapshot. So in this case, um, this is a .NET type. And maybe you don't know exactly where these types are being created in your app. So uh, you, may, you could uh, set more specific breakpoints to try to try to find where that, those objects are getting created. Uh, but instead of that, we're going to use the uh, CPU usage tool. And we're going to try to take a look at what's going on using that tool. So we'll restart again and go use, get to the same region of code, get to the first breakpoint. Go to the second breakpoint. And uh, now um, what we're seeing here is the CPU usage graph is showing you uh, just the information for the region of code between the two breakpoints. And that's very important to help you localize to, to, uh, to find where the actual issue is that, that, that's occurring. So, so now the, the information in the list below is, uh, is just showing you information from that specific region of code between the two breakpoints. So let me stretch this out a little bit. Um, so now we can see um, this, the list shows you the uh, functions that are getting called in the, uh, based on uh, how much time they're taking to, to complete. So the update function is taking the most time. 68% uh, of your total app time. And these are inclusive values, though. So uh, what we find is that it actually looks like this get description function is um, taking uh, longer to run. So we're going we're gonna to click into that. And we're going to get the, this caller call E view. And uh, this shows us that. Um, our current function is shows up in the middle uh, column here, and that's the get, get description function. And 18.37% of our app time is occurring in the function body here. So that's kind of a red flag that uh, maybe something is, is not what we want uh, with get description. And you can see the functions that are called for them. Uh, there seem to be a couple calls to system.random. And in particular, system.random.next, is being called explicitly in your app code. And this is probably some other uh, code that's being called in internally by the random object. So uh, that's a pretty uh, significant clue about what's going on with your app performance. And so you're going to take a look at that code and go down to get description. And uh, so we find here that. Um, that the code is uh, creating these ran a random object and then running through a loop. So we'll 
take a look at this real quick. Restart, advance the debugger. And uh, what we find here is that this iterations uh, variable has over, uh, is a value of 2 million. And so it's calling uh, ran.next over 2 million times. And that, uh, in this case, for this uh, a demo app is, is uh, really what's going wrong with this is we don't really want to call this function 2 million times because it's causing uh, performance issues for us. So uh, that's what you'd have to fix in this case. So um, that's a quick introduction to the CPU usage and memory usage tools. And uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for taking a look.